everybody, how's it going? My name is Vixie, welcome to my channel and welcome to my very first video where I'm going to be setting up my B6 allergy for the month of June. It's Pride, so happy Pride month. And I am especially excited to get this going because it is going to be the last month in my B6 allergy. And of course, for those of you who have a B6 allergy, you know how exciting this is because then you get to set up a brand new one and I'm so, ex so excited about that. Okay, so uh, did I mention this in my first video? Because if not, it is my first video and I do expect there to be some stuff ups, but I'm hoping they won't be too bad. And honestly, I'm just hoping to get through this video without it being a complete and utter train wreck. I have some foil acetate. This is a little mini calendar I'm gonna be using this month. It's from Coffee Monsters Co. I have some deco here that I'm going to use. I've got my, what I'm watching, playing, reading, my monthly tasks, my mood tracker, and then I have got all my calendars. And then I have a checklist and a blank to-do sheet, I guess. I feel like I am like failing at this already. Okay, so let's just get everything squared away here. So every month I always start out with a splash page and my little mini calendar. So on this, for this instance, or in this instance, I should say, I'm pretty sure this is going how I'm going to be laying it out. I was kind of playing around with that a little bit last night and I actually really liked how that turned out. So I think, I really like that. I think that's actually what I'm going to do. So I think we'll get this bit down first. So I have this massive roll of tape. Actually, I'm just gonna move this out of the way. Otherwise I will somehow manage to screw it up. So I have this massive roll of tape and I picked this up from uh, the reject shop. It was so cheap. It was like two for five bucks. And so you get these huge, like these are, these are giant rolls, absolutely giant rolls, but they last such a long time. So I got mine, I want to say I picked it up probably in December of last year, but I didn't start using it until January because that's when my Stalogy, when I started using my Stalogy. And uh, yeah, I only just had to open the new one. I just used up the last one in the last week of May. So it's lasted a really long time. This thing is like chunky as hell. So I'm not stingy at all about tipping stuff in. That is pretty much where I want it to go. There we go. Oh, that looks really good. I was so scared that was not gonna go down straight. I tell you, I actually was meant to start, well, actually I wasn't meant to. I wanted to start doing YouTube in May. So I went and I did a May setup video and anything that could have gone wrong that could, yeah, that could have gone wrong, did go wrong. It was horrible. The, I will show you, I'm gonna, I want to do a flip through of May and I will show you exactly where everything went wrong and all of the stuff ups that happened. I was so annoyed. I, <laughs> I just ended up trashing the video. I just, there was no way I was gonna put that up on YouTube for anyone to see because it was an utter embarrassment. So I was, yeah, trashed it. <laughs> it was so bad. I could not believe how bad it turned out. And I don't even know why. I think I was like really flustered actually. I think that's what it was. I was just really flustered and didn't really know what I was doing. And I was a bit, you know, cause when you're filming yourself for the very first time, it's, it's a bit intimidating. Like you don't, cause you have no idea what the hell you're doing and you don't know if, you know, what, whatever you're doing is going to turn out. And you know, you get, well, if you're anything like me anyway, you get stuck in your own head and God, it's like a nightmare to try and get out of. And so I was, I was so flustered and I thought, why are you, what is wrong with you? Stop it. It's just a video. If it doesn't turn out, it's no drama. Nobody knows that you're even starting YouTube. So it's not like you're, you know, out to impress anybody. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, I, I didn't tell anyone that I was going to start doing YouTube really. I think I put on my Instagram that I was going to do a, a video for April and that didn't turn out. I was, so I just sort of pretended that I didn't say anything. <laughs> Um, so yeah, but I gotta say life sucks when you get stuck in your own head. Let me tell you, like you're trying to get out of it and you're trying to get stuff done and you can't. So I have my little Coffee Monsters Co. I was really hoping that, um, her little calendar this month would have been something to do with pride. Um, but it wasn't. So that's okay though. I really like it. I think it's cute. There we go. Oh, I really like that. I put the tape on the wrong pages, so standard. We've already we're already starting off to uh we're already starting off very well. I just have to clean off my acetate. That's the problem with acetate. It just attracts dust and hair. And if you have cats, I have two cats, and it just gets in everywhere. 
So I'm going to tip this in, or I'm going to attempt to tip this in, which if you can't tell, I cut that way too short, way too short, excellent. And I already like suck at doing this not on camera. So this is gonna be a load of fun. And hopefully I can do it right this time because let me tell you, in May, one of the stuff ups that I did was, so the, the vellum is, uh, sorry, the acetate goes like this, right? So you can turn it over, but it sits nicely up against this. The way I did May, I tipped it in this way. So then when you flipped it over, all you saw is the black and it just, I was so annoyed. <laughs> I was so very, very annoyed. So then I had to try and pull it out. All right, so this is the side I wanted on. So then I had to try and pull it out and put it back down again. All right, so there's a few different ways, I guess you can do the tip-ins. This is the way that I do them. And I learned from Dakshina. And this is actually the easiest way. I have tried several other ways and they just never worked for me. So this is the easiest way for me to do them, but it's still a pain in the butt and it's still hard. And I've been doing them now for like six months. So you would think that I would have had it down by now, but I do not. Okay. So I just kind of want to make this centered to the page and that looks fairly well centered. And then you just sort of squish it right down into the seam of the book and flick it like so and that worked holy crap that worked i need to go buy a lotto ticket i was genuinely expecting that not to work and for, for it to stuff up somehow <laughs> but it didn't and i really like that i think that looks really really beautiful so i have the ally flag here because i am an ally 100 percent ally always have been always will be especially because i have quite a few people who are near and dear to me in the lgbtqa plus community all right, so this page here is going to be my monthly task list and the what I'm watching, playing, reading page. I initially had... Oh, I'm just going to get that tape off. I, I initially had this as a brain dump page, but I don't use brain... I'm pretty sure I don't use brain dump. Like for May... Yeah, that's my May brain dump page, and I did not use that at all. I didn't even... I, actually, I didn't even go back to do my monthly task sheet like I usually do. So that's interesting. I guess May was just a very busy, busy month. And I was actually wondering if I should go and fill out my monthly task sheet on camera because a couple of the YouTubers that I watch, they do that. And I'm just not sure if that's something that I should be doing for a first video because I basically have, well, I have no subscribers. So I, know, I don't even know how many people are going to see this. So I don't want to make it too long because I know, like I know, when I find a video, like sometimes I don't want to, you know, get stuck watching a 30 minute video if I don't have the time to sit and watch it, you know, or when you start watching a really long video and you can't, you don't really vibe with the person that you're watching. So then you have to click off it. There we go. Oh, that, that's much better. I really like that. And that's actually relatively straight too. So big bonus, big win, having a lot of wins today. All right, so here I've got my event calendar sticky note here, but I'm fairly certain that I'm supposed to have my mood tracker here, actually. Oh, that's where I stuffed up. So yeah, my mood tracker is meant to be there. Okay, so we're going to remove that because that's incorrect. This is where my mood tracker goes. This was the another one that I stuffed up in May. I completely forgot to put my mood tracker down. And then um, I had to scramble to find somewhere to put it. That's how flustered I was. It's absolutely ridiculous how how you can psych yourself out. Like, calm down. It's just a freaking video. Do you know what I mean? And if it doesn't work out, delete it. Like, no drama. Just want to make sure that I've got no pages in between. That was something else that happened in May. I left a great big gap of pages. Well, it was like, I'm being dramatic. It was two pages. But still, like, it really annoyed me. I don't know if you can tell how chunky this is. Um, but I have... I've had to like split my book so that I could lay it out properly. And it's one of these instances where I'm actually glad I don't have a, an actual cover for it. Um, and I just have it in a Lauren Phelps design vinyl, a vinyl cover, but I don't have like a Moterm or a, a Van der Speck or anything. I don't have anything fancy. I don't have anything pretty. There we go. Awesome. 
I want to just fill out my tracker, the colors and everything while I'm here. There we go. So you might be wondering actually why I have all of these emotions and that is because I feel them. I don't feel all of them every single day, but I can feel a lot of them on any given day. And I wanted to track where my head was basically. I was pretty much trying to track my highs and lows uh, since the beginning of the year. And I'm happy to say that as the year has progressed, I've gotten, I've had far less lows and far more highs. So that's really good. All right, now I've got my... This is where the event calendar should go. I'm just going to move that out of the way. Now this event calendar I got, I'm pretty sure this is um, Kate's, no, not Kate, uh, print, printable Kate, printable Kate, I'm pretty sure. So I want to, I've printed out like so much stuff because I like to print things out and I like stickers. So I just print them out when I'm going to use them. And I've got a lot. <laughs> where are my little icons? Instagram, so cute. Okay, so this one is my event calendar. So we'll just move those out of the way. And in past months, I've actually done full on decorating with like washi and like all these kinds of things. But this month, I really just, I really just could not be bothered to be honest. So I've just printed out the word June. But I also wanted to try using a uh, just a little icon to represent the calendar, so I don't have to write on it. Before I am, um, I'm just gonna wipe this out because I think this is dodgy um, sticker paper that I'm using. It's really cheap stuff from Officeworks and um, ha 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 ha, ow. And uh, it, it, will, it will show through the writing. So I just wanted to wipe that out. There we go. Good God. There. Oh my God, this is a massive icon. I didn't realize how big it was. <laughs> Whoopsies, didn't pay attention to the sizing when I was printing this out. Oh well, it is what it is. Uh, where is, um, will that fit? Yes, that will fit there beautifully. All right, cool. I uh, wasn't sure if this was going to fit, but it will. And I don't usually write anything on this side anyway. I genuinely don't understand how I am one of these people who cannot line something up straight when I've got a line to go by. Like I just, I can't, I, I genuinely can't. It looks ridiculous when I do it. Uh, but I'm also one of these people who can't cut a straight line at all, which is really frustrating. <laughs> so I suppose that's really no wonder that I can't put down a sticker straight if I can't even cut a straight line, you know what I mean? I actually have no valid reason for doing this either, like for putting down date covers. Like I, there's no reason for me to do this, but I just like to. I just like the way it looks. All right, cool. Oh, cool. That looks so good. I wonder if I should put another rainbow here. I've got, I think I will, because the other two calendars I'm gonna need to write on this bit. So I think I will put, just put another stripe here. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. You know, the YouTubers I watch make this look so easy. <laughs> it's really, it's not. All right, I'm not going to bother filling this out just yet. I do have some things that I need to put in for June, but I'm not going to do it at the moment. So let's get this in. All right. So we start on this side. I mean, do I, I think I'm doing pretty good so far, you know? I don't think I've stuffed up badly. I think I've been telling you guys everything, like where I'm getting everything from. I told you, I think I told you this this um, calendar printout was from Printable Kate. Uh, nope, that is going to be too big. So I'm going to have to hand cut this because I wasn't paying attention, I guess, when I cut it the first time. And I can't, it started ripping, so there's just no way. I'm going to have to hand cut it. Good Lord, now you're going to see how crookedly I cut. This is something I probably can't get away from. And the tape is sticking to my scissors. <laughs> is there any tape left on that? Oh, the tiniest bit. Just the tiniest, tiniest bit. But I think it might be enough. If not, no drama. I'll just come back and do it again. Yeah, okay, that's too big. So let's just cut this bit down. I cannot believe how straight I cut that. That's still too short. All right. I mean, it's still too big, too long, too long. Let's trim down this side a bit, I think. This is scaring me. Yeah, that's not straight at all. Perfect. That's not straight at all. Well, I mean, it is Pride Month, right? It's not about straight. 
Okay, so let's just get another bit of sticky down. I cannot believe how just not straight that is at all. <laughs> Good Lord. Okay. But you know what? It's fine. And it looks cute and I like it and I'm happy. And that's honestly the only thing that matters. But I think what I am going to do, can you guys see that crow? I freaking hate crows with all of my heart. Uh, I'm going to put down this really gorgeous little washi tape, which I need to go and get more of actually. And I'm pretty sure I picked this up from Daiso. So I need to go and get another one. I tend to go back to Daiso and get the ones that I really, really like because otherwise they they don't sell out, but after they have sold out their stock, they don't get the same ones in again, at least not in my Daiso. So I want to um, go back and get another one of these because I really like it. Oh, that looks really cute. I really like that. Okay, let's move in to doing my social media calendar, which is pretty much just a repeat of what I just did. But I am going to go and trim these down because I've got two more calendars to do and I'm not going to make that same stuff up. So I'll be right back. Somebody on Instagram asked me once if I do the, you know, the little, um, oh, what are they called? When you put the icons and everything to, not, I guess like a memory planner, not, not a planner, sorry, like a memory keeper thing or something, like a, a highlights or something. I don't know, where, where you just put down a sticker or something to represent what you've done for that day. Uh, like, a, you know, one of those little calendars. Um, and the answer is no, I don't. I don't even know if that person's watching this video. Probably not. But um, no, I don't do anything like that. I don't have the patience, quite honestly. And I would have to go and buy like a whole bunch of things to actually put down because I don't own anything that would work. And I, I'm honestly, I honestly fear that it would all be the same thing anyway. It would just be super repetitive. My days are pretty much the same, you know. You wake up, get the kids off to school, clean the house a bit, go to work, come home, make dinner, take the dog for a walk, you know, that sort of stuff. Like it's all basically the same kind of thing. So I really didn't feel like I needed to have a monthly highlight calendar or what, I mean, whatever they're called. I honestly don't know. I can't remember. I genuinely hope you can't hear that crow. I'm an absolute animal lover, like 100%, but I want to go out there and like murder that crow. They're so annoying, especially in the morning at five o'clock. Uh, because they'll come and they'll, I have a tin roof and they just jump on the roof and they honestly sound like someone's breaking in. They're so loud and they're so noisy and they're so heavy. You wouldn't think a crow would be a heavy bird, but they are a very heavy bird. And it must be on the fence just outside my window. I'm on a two-story house too. <laughs> I'm in a two-story house, I should say. But they're so, oh my God, they're so annoying. Those and uh, the squeaker birds. I don't know if you guys have squeakers where you are. They're, I think they're called miners, noisy miners, actually. And I'm pretty sure they're, well, they're not an, a, um, a native Australian bird. I can't remember where they're from. I want to, no, I'm not even going to, I'm not even going to speculate. But um, yeah, they're not an, a native Australian bird, but they are the most annoying birds. They are so loud and they obviously don't like cats. I have two cats and my cats are super chill for the most part. And I've got one big boy who's outside like 90% of his, of his time because he just prefers to be outside. And he's getting old now. He's uh, 13. So he's getting up there in years, but he doesn't, so he doesn't actually like mess with the birds so much anymore. And he'll just lay on the back patio, just loving his life, sleeping in the sun, because that's pretty much all cats do. And these bloody birds will come down and they'll sit right by him and they'll just squawk at him so loud and he just looks at them like will you shut up they're so annoying and one day oh I think not long after we moved in here we've been here about four years now and not long after we moved in there was I swear to you a dozen of them sitting on my back fence screaming at him I was so mad I went out there and I like shooed them away but they're so noisy <laughs> so noisy oh my god if you know, I'm sorry. Like, if you, if you deal with them, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. If you don't know and you don't deal with them, my God, you are super lucky. Don't ever wish that you had minors because you would, you will regret that. Honestly, though, I think it's a complete toss-up between minors and cockatoos. They're both, I, they're both an extremely noisy bird. So if you've, if you've heard cockatoos, um, and cockatoos, especially when they're in their massive family group, like for some reason... <laughs> I don't know why they just can't fly anywhere on their own they must have really bad social anxiety or something because they always need always always 
need to have their entire freaking family and their neighbors, like their whole family from the grandparents, great, great, great grandparents, doesn't matter. There's like a thousand of them in a flock. And when they fly over your house, forget about talking, forget about watching TV, forget about, you know, being sane for the length of time it takes them to fly over your house or your estate or wherever you're living, because Jesus Christ, they are so loud and they just scream. Like they just scream. They're, they're toddlers of the bird world. Like honestly. And black cockatoos are worse somehow. And they're massive too. I don't know if you've ever seen a black cockatoo. We don't get them around here that, that much. Um, when we do actually, they, they do come around right before it rains. Um, always come around right before it rains. And usually floods actually, not rains. But right before it floods, they come around. And um, they're just... The, I think they're worse than the white cockatoos, to be honest. They, um, they argue with each other. I swear to you. I swear that's what they're doing. You can't tell me different. I was watching them. I was bloody watching them. We went for a walk one day and there was three, four of them sitting in a tree and one would scream and then the other one would puff itself up and then look at it and start screaming back. And I'm like, I know you're having a bloody domestic. I just know it. And you can't shut them up. You can't scream at them to shut up because they ignore you. <laughs> they really do. If you have black cockatoos, you know exactly what I'm bloody talking about. And I love them. I love to look at them. I'm not a bird fan in general, <clears throat> if you can't tell. I'm not a bird fan, but I, I do love them. And I think they're a beautiful bird. Same with the, their white counterparts and even the galahs. You know, they're grey and pink. Um, they're absolutely beautiful birds to look at, but good Lord. I don't even know why I'm on the topic of birds. Why am I on the topic of birds? Oh, because we had that crow, didn't we? He's flown off now. All right, so I will come back in and fill that out, but I really like that. I think that looks so pretty. So I did my event calendar, my Instagram calendar, and now I have to do my YouTube calendar since I've decided to start doing YouTube. And then I'm pretty much almost done. I've got a couple more pages and then all finished. I love setting up my monthly pages. They're my favorite pages to set up. I think they're pretty much everybody's <laughs> favorite to set up actually, but well, at least everybody that I watch. Cause you're basically starting fresh, right? You get to start over for a brand new month. You get to make all new mistakes. Although if you're like me, you make the same mistake over and over again. Wouldn't it would just be brilliant if you could learn from your mistakes the first time and not keep making them? I mean, that's like the goal, isn't it? <laughs> that's what you are. That's what you aim for. Aim high, am I right? Aim high. Ow, ow, ow! For a cheap paper, this really sticks down. Not sure I'll do this for July, honestly. I don't, I think I just prefer to have the full thing covered, like, um, not covered, decorated, rather than just using the little sticker. I mean, it does have its charm. It does. I know you couldn't see that, sorry. Oh, there we go. I do like it though, I really do like it. I'll have to improve on the whole sticker thing because I don't like having to stick them down individually. And maybe I'll make these like one long sticker instead of doing them individually. Because it's a bit of a pain in the butt to do it individually. There we go. Oh, I really like that. I think it's actually turned out quite nice. I really hope I've got that in frame. There we go. I think that's actually turned out really nice. So now it's time to get this in and I've already cut it down. Yes, good. Just wanted to make sure. I didn't round any of the corners this month. I almost always round corners and I completely forgot. I knew there was going to be something that I would forget. It's honestly almost like I need to have a list in front of me so that I don't forget anything and I know what I need to get done. Quite frankly, I'm surprised I've managed to get everything down in its correct order without stuffing that up like I did in May. You'll see it. You'll see it in May when I do my flip through, which I'll probably end up filming right after this video actually. Might as well just get everything done in one day. My husband's at his office today, he's not working from home, so, and I'm not working from home, to, oh, sorry, and I'm not in the office today, so um, I might as well just get all my filming done while I can. Definitely uh, sticking things down into your B6, or pretty much any notebook, is going to chunk it up and make it really, really chubby. And if you don't like that, I would recommend not sticking things down, but I love it, so I will always stick stuff down. And I just put everything in here, it's ridiculous, really. <laughs> Okay. Oh, it looks so good. It really looks good. I really like how that's turned out. I don't really like that. We'll pretend that I might have to put something there or something, or I could just suck it up and deal with it. All right. So there we go. There's that. I need to put in my YouTube checklist, which already has enough space. And then my ideas video. Yeah. Cool. Cool. Not, it's not a video, is it? It's a freaking insert, idiot. Okay. So 
I decided that I would put this in after seeing uh, Becky from Whoops I Did It Again. I think it's, no, whoop, wait, is that it? Whoops I, yeah, I think that's her channel. I'll have her, her uh, channel linked in the description anyway, if you're interested. But um, yeah, she was the one who I saw use this for the very first time. And I thought, oh, this is a brilliant insert and it was free. So it's uh, pin, no, it's not. It's um, Puff and Pages Co. That's who this is. So, um, I, but I don't remember if it was on their website or if it was on Facebook. If I can remember, no, that's that's a terrible, it's like the worst thing to say ever. It's if I can remember, I'll do it. No, I will do it. Uh, I will find the link to this insert and I will have it in the description if you're interested in getting it. But I love it. It's awesome. Cause then like you can write, you know, your video here, like the day or the date. And then here you can, you know, put like filmed, edited, uploaded, scheduled, thumbnail, what, I mean, whatever you want, right? Like, or even for your social medias, like if you're trying to track when you post social media, you can always use it for that as well. I think it's absolutely brilliant. And then this page here, I'm just going to use for note, I, oh, like, sorry, video ideas. And then I'll just go straight into my weekly overviews and start my week. So I'll just give you a quick, oh, I wanted to, um, no, I, I don't honestly know how long this video has gone yet. I'm going to have to edit the crap out of it if it's really long. So I don't want to write down anything, but I mean, if, oh, I forgot to put my washi on. Hold on, hold on. But if you're watching this, um, if you could let me know if you made it all the way this far, if you could just let me know whether or not you prefer to see people writing in or me specifically, if, if that's something that you want to see added to the video, if you could let me know that, that would be really helpful because then, you know, for July, I can do that. I really don't think that I'm going to have too much in the way of filming because I don't have a lot of journals or planners or anything. I basically only use my B6 <laughs> for my everyday and then I have um, a personal a personal size for work, but that's not something that I'm going to probably show. So I really don't have anything else to really film, I think. All right, so let's take a look and see what we got. Let's see how it turned out. So this is the splash page and the acetate, the very beautiful foiled acetate. I made this myself, by the way. I just printed it out onto some acetate and foiled it, which looks beautiful. We have my what I'm watching, playing, reading, my monthly task page, which I will come back and fill out in a few minutes. My mood tracker for the month, my event calendar for the month, my Instagram social media calendar for the month, and my... YouTube calendar for the month and then I have the checklist my YouTube checklist and then the video ideas page and that is it so I really hope that you enjoyed it hopefully it didn't turn out too badly and hopefully I didn't stuff it up too bad but yeah thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one bye everybody